Hey what's going on YouTube, my name is Ephraim and welcome back to Crazy Studios and in this video I want to talk to you guys about why I never really uploaded my short film. Now, this short film was called Help 2. It was a sequel to It's Little Red's first short film, Help. Basically, we all didn't really like it and I figured my sequel will make it so much better because it's really rare when the sequel is better than being the original. I wanted to break that barrier. Now, I had a script, I had a perfect storyboard. The film, in my opinion, was really, really good. However, I was trying to hand that in for a uh, cider film project, which I had to hand it in by the end of the year. Due to complications, I had to change things in the script and change things in the storyboard, and I wasn't really getting that image. And I know 50% of the times that's not going to happen. I'm okay with that, but at least I want something that at least symbolizes it, and that's something that I just wasn't getting. I got about through Act 1, 2, and 8 done. For example, my mom, she dyed her hair, and she was in the film. We were still doing the, this one scene, but we had to stop the scene and record it another day, and the day that we finally decided to record it, my mom decided to change her hair color. So I had to do with I had to deal with altering timelines, equally altering people's images, and that wasn't the idea, and I didn't like that. I had to mention my hair was getting longer, and I had to cut it at some points. It didn't look right on, on camera. It just wasn't looking smoothly. The edits and the visual effects were, were good. It's just that they weren't what I, I anticipated. For example, there was this one shot where Nelson was the camera guy, and there was a shot of me here, and without using a green screen, the background was supposed to be hell. Because Anthony died, he was supposed to be in hell at the scene. But I figured I don't want to use a green screen, so make it more more of a natural look. Change the background of the sky, make the building behind me crack, shatter, make the ground molten rocks something something really cool and have like distorted image because of the heat that couldn't be possible because Nelson well this wasn't I never told him to do this but let's say there was one scene he made the background really really blurry and he made my face very focused and I didn't want that it was a good shot if I still have it I'll put a clip here I don't the visual effects in the in the film were decent I was happy with, with most of the things because my image was since you're in hell you're dead you have no soul and when you're in hell you're considered to be a bad person and you know really, I'm gonna get really religious here and it's just it's just you're a bad person you go to hell I'm pretty sure a lot of people believe in that um, some people don't and that's fine with me I don't really care they never really pictured what the person would look like if he actually went to hell he or she my image was you look exactly the same but your eyes are darkened your eyes I have no soul you don't have pupils they're just plain like that that's what I wanted to do um, and it, came, it was coming out really good the eyes were pretty much the only thing I really liked about the film because the light, the eyes look really good. If I have a clip, I'll show you. So there was this, this other scene where I required a green screen, but my green screen wasn't, my green room wasn't big enough for me to actually put, put my full body in. My camera is a wide lens camera and, and it wasn't wide enough. I don't know how to say that because my room wasn't very, okay, green screen, camera, I couldn't, I couldn't bring it more back to record my, my full body, which that kind of let me down. So I figured to try to, another method was to do it in a plain area and maybe crop myself out. And I did do that for one scene. Overall, believe me guys, the story was really good. I enjoyed the story a lot. Nelson enjoyed the story, Dito enjoyed the story. But this is a film I definitely do still want to make because of Nelson. Because it's an idea I had. I spent an entire summer on it, uh, writing it, storyboarding, uh, script, uh, scripting it, doing the shot list. Well, I'm not gonna put all that work in the garbage just because the film wasn't coming out good. I'm gonna still do it eventually. I don't know when, I don't know where I want to shoot things because my original idea was to shoot it at different locations that are possible to shoot at. The thing with the, with the, the thing with me, I am very, very difficult. I, If I have an image in my head, I want it to be the exact same. And I'm not talking about how the camera should move or how I, the person should dress. I mean, let's say if the background is in a hospital, if I have that image, I want it to be in a hospital, and I don't want to alter it because then it's like I'm not gonna get my full image out there. That if that's my image, that's my image. I want to keep it like that, and I'm pretty sure a lot of filmmakers would um, back me up on this. This is something that everyone wants to do. They want our image to be explored. There was this one scene where I wanted to record at a warehouse, and I couldn't because I didn't know any places I had a warehouse until up till recently. And I plan on recording a lot there. I've recorded a video skit with Emilio um, there for his episodic series. If you guys want to check that out, go check it out. We'll support it. It's really good. I'm in one or I'm in, I'm in one or two episodes. I, I forgot. I'm pretty sure I'm in one big one or two small ones. I make like a quick appearance, especially with Nelson. He's in the background. Now the one thing that bothered me about the film is that 
I don't really plan out clothing wise and I made a mistake because I chose this one outfit that I thought looked good at the time then while we were recording I had to change the outfit because I just didn't like it I had to make a story about why I had to change my sweater I don't know why I didn't like my sweater so that's like really stupid but it's something that, that, that just aggravated me but it's something that you really have to think about for the next time you should have felt what you should wear and what you should feel comfortable with and consistent and yeah and not to mention timing was horrible too and I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in my in my video prep for a short movie speaking of which I'm still working on it. if you guys want to check out that video I'll leave a link in the description you guys can click anywhere here <laughs> yeah that's the nice idea maybe I'll put it like right here next to my face or maybe on top of it. Anyway guys, I want to say I did promise you guys a short film. I let you guys down, but honestly, I would rather give you guys a good film late than a crappy film on time. And I'm pretty sure most people can agree with me on that. I don't want to be that type of person that has to keep changing things in the script just because something wasn't working right in real life and I don't want that. Anyways, I know you guys expected a short film and I really do apologize. I know in my 2017 video I did promise a one short movie and two short films with this LRM and my other friend, but I that just goes to show how things just can't plan out the way that you want it to and you need to you need more time than just a year to actually accomplish things like that and I did learn my lesson this year and I'm not gonna make promises like that again but what I will say is this for you guys just because I didn't record or post anything doesn't mean I wasn't busy or wasn't working on something for you guys I have made a total of 13 short films for you guys and they're all exciting they're all amazing and I can and I just can't wait to start recording and just posting them all for you guys. Most of these were just inspirations and honestly I don't think I could have done any of this thinking any of these emotions if it wasn't for you people just telling me how to keep going. Honestly that if there was no if there was no person supporting me I wouldn't have any passion for this. But this is my passion. This is what I want to do and I really hope you guys give me just give me some patience with this. And honestly I love editing videos as well and I'm pretty sure I'm having fun editing this video as well. Now if you guys are probably wondering where I get all these ideas for these short films. Most of my ideas come from my dream and others come from music that I listen to that I put an image in there, my own image, and I kind of spin it off into making something. Others is just, like I said, from my dream and I try to remember my dream and I try to incorporate my dream to real life and it happens. And that's my inspiration and that's my plan and that's where that's how it usually starts unless I actually think really hard. There's only been one film where I had, well, two, but one short film I had to think really hard about and honestly, it's it came out crazy. The one thing I'm struggling with is my short movie because up until recently I started working on it again scripting wise. I can kind of understand why it's a short movie. I think so far I have 20 pages set on that thing. If not, no 23. I have 23 pages set on that. And up till now I finally hit the climax and now I have to do the falling action and the resolution. Falling action and just taking some thought because I, I want to I want to do something that's creepy. I want to do something that's hasn't been thought of and, that, and that's not a cliche because that's what every person drives for and if I do happen to do, do something cliche if I'm sorry then that means I just thought of everything possible that just didn't work out together not to mention skits that I'm also working on not daily but scripting wise it's coming up pretty good I have this skit that I'm putting all together at some point I just can't wait to show all of you guys I think I have four skits ready pretty long skits some skits that I shot in the past that I want to re reshoot for good quality wise anyway guys that's my story on why I didn't upload my short film once again my Image was everything was just not going right, and I hope you guys don't understand that. And I don't know when I'm gonna start recording that film again. That's definitely on one of the 13th plus. So today I worked on 12 when I wasn't, you know, filming. And this is all from school. This is from me being bored. Now the one problem I'm having right now is not storyboarding any of them because I don't know where to start. I want to start with the ones that seem possible to record at the moment, but I don't know which one because they're all they're all insane. They're all crazy. They're all yeah. They're all ha. Huh. I don't know how to explain it, but they're all insane, they're all crazy, they're all spontaneous, it, like, it's just, it's not natural to be in certain locations. Um, it's LRM has, has worked on, on some things too, and I'm really happy for him, and I really hope that he makes a video talking about his plans, and I'm pretty sure he did, which I'm gonna leave in the link below, Maybe I'll put it right here, his plans for his channel, but my plan for my channel is I'm gonna still post every Thursday at some point again, because right now, my god, I was moving my store, and I'm computer is not exactly active right now. I don't know why I'm editing this because I need to find the power cord for my computer so I can start. No, today is December the 3rd. Today's December 3rd. Today's December 3rd. And I hope you guys should just be patient with me. I'm gonna be there for you. So guys, get ready. 2018. Something's gonna happen. I don't know what it is. I'm not gonna make any promises yet. I'm still gonna make an 2018 video this year. I don't know. But 
what my plans are for that just yet. We'll see what happens, all right? We'll see what happens. Subscribe to this channel for more content. If you guys like it, please like the video. Comment down below your thoughts. I really want to hear them. Whatever you do that you work hard for, keep working at it. Even if people don't believe in you. If you believe in yourself, just keep working at it. Because it's not fair for others to degrade you like that. If you guys have a passion and you don't want to keep doing it, but you have no support, I suggest you just keep doing it. Because honestly, if it makes you happy, just keep doing it. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Shake it. Shake it.